Yeah, that's right, you guys. Good morning. It is time for Ask the Derm. Board certified dermatologist Billy Graf from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology is here to answer your skin questions. And doctor, welcome back. A little vacation Great in to Hawaii. See you. Yeah, just got back. Great to see you. All right, Thank let's you. get to the first question here. I got Botox and Juvederm at a Medi Spa yesterday, and I got a ton of bruising. My anniversary party is this Friday. What can I do? Please help. This needs to go away. Wow, that's a pretty bad bruise. Yes. You know, we have a new, a pretty new treatment that we just started doing several months ago. It's a laser we have called the V-Beam Perfecta, and what it does is we can treat bruising with it. So if a patient comes in and has Botox or a filler and they get some bad bruising, we can treat the bruise and it's gone within a day instead of lasting like a week or so like a bruise usually does. So here's a patient that came in with a bruise, I treated her and you can see the next day she came back in, it's completely wow. gone. Wow, yeah. Is that pretty typical to see bruising like that when you do something? I'd say when you, if you get Botox or a filler, the chances of getting a bruise are probably about 10%. So if you come in and you're getting ready for an event, you get a bruise, you might get into a little bit of a panic because right. you don't want to be seen with a bruise on your face. So we can zap it with a laser and it's gone. Well, that was an amazing transformation. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's go to the second question. I was hiking this past weekend and I got a terrible case of poison oak. I am familiar with the appearance of the plant and didn't see any. How could this happen? Jim from Alpine. Well, this time of year, you know, Jim, you probably didn't see it because the leaves have fallen off the plant. So for those of us that like to spend a lot of time outdoors hiking and whatnot, you gotta be very cognizant of the fact that in the winter time, poison oak will not have any leaves. So it's basically just the stems of the plant. Gotcha. But if you walk through those stems, the oil is still on those stems and you will get the poison oak. So the best thing to do is to just, you know, when you're hiking to be covered up. So mm -hmm. wear long sleeves. Um, it might be a good idea to have some rubbing alcohol to wipe your hands off after hiking because that will take the oil off of your skin. Right, right. The last thing to probably remember is that poison oak typically grows around flowing water. So if you're hiking near a stream, then you're much more likely to come in contact with those oh, stems. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good to yeah. know. Wow, pretty cool. Uh, let's go to the question number three, everybody. I had liposuction of my neck two years ago and all of the fat appears to be gone, but I still have some loose skin under my chin and along my jawline. What can I do to tighten this up? Martha, 58 Vista. Yes, there's you can the see there's definitely a little bit of laxity under the, uh, the uh, chin there and along the jawline. So one of the toughest things for us in, in uh, dermatology is finding a device that will actually repeatedly tighten the skin. So over the last 10 years, many devices have come out saying that they can tighten skin, but many of them have been disappointing. Right. And the reason that is, is because many of them try to deliver the heat through the surface of the skin deeper into the tissues, which doesn't work very well. You can't get the temperatures that you need to get tissue tightening. Okay. So there's a new device out called Thermitite. It has a probe on it that's the size of a piece of spaghetti, and we actually make a tiny hole and we place the probe under the skin. So we can, do, uh, we can do deliver the heat to the undersurface of the skin directly. So what works much, much better. It's very, very great. Interesting, look at the before treatment. and after yeah. right there. That's yeah, this amazing. This is a patient that we treated probably about four months ago now, and you can see the amazing, it's pretty amazing the tightening that you can get with this yeah. device. It's called Thermitite. How often in your line of business, I mean, there's gotta be new concepts and new ideas coming out all of the time. How do right. you guys keep up with that? Well, we have a research department where mm -hmm. we're, at any time we probably have about 10 to 15 uh, research projects going. Oh, wow. So we're always looking into new technology and new treatments. So, oh, wow. yeah. Who's ahead yeah. of what's going on yeah. out there? You gotta be, I guess, yeah. man. Right. A lot is changing. All right, let's go to question number four. My child has developed a round bald spot on his or her head. I'm afraid it's going to spread and get bigger. What is it? Please help. Melanie in Cardiff, what is that? Yeah, so if you look at this spot, it's, it's round and it looks smooth. You don't see any redness, you don't see any scale or any kind of uh, crusting at all. So this looks what I would call alopecia areata. So this is a fairly common condition in kids. About one out of a thousand children will get this. And we don't know what causes it, but it's an attack of the hair follicle by inflammatory cells. So the body actually attacks its own um, hair and you lose the hair in that area. That was almost perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, that's in the that amazing area. thing about it, but we still haven't figured out what causes it. Okay. All so, right. but there is treatment for it. There, we can treat it with topical things and also injectable things to get the hair to grow back. That's the good news. It will grow back. So it is, yes. Okay, highly treatable. Yes. Cool. All right, question number five. Uh, listen to this one. I'm getting ready to go to college next fall and I have acne scarring on my face, which is very embarrassing for me, which is the best laser to help get better before I leave. Thank you. Uh, look at the pictures coming in right here. 
So what would you guys do? So we have, he's got a little bit darker skin, which can make it a little bit more challenged with lasers, but we do have a laser. Uh, I would use what's called the Fraxel laser, which is a way to gently resurface the skin. You can see this gentleman here. Uh, we did four treatments on him spaced about a month apart each. And you can see that it softens the acne scar in quite a bit. Wow. So that'd be the best treatment for uh, Mako, I believe his name That was. looks yeah. great. That before and after picture too. It's amazing. Like, yeah, there's great technologies out there. Yeah. You know, back when I was in high school and stuff, acne was, it was, it was clear uh, so that was, was it. And, and oxy, whatever that was. Yeah, oxy. there wasn't much to do no, back then. We had no good options. Yeah, it's how far we've come. It's pretty amazing yeah, yeah, what you absolutely. can do nowadays. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, you coming in and talking you. about this. Thank if you. you want to get a hold of Dr. Groff, you can go to our website. It's foxfoxsanigo.com. Click on the scene on tab or the phone number right there, 858-657-1002.